This is a very special occasion that brings us together today. As friends and family of Kerry and Fraser were gathered to celebrate their marriage and the many months of planning are now behind them or behind Kerry. It's a special privilege and honour for me to conduct this ceremony because I know you both um, so well. Fraser took the bold initial step years ago and requested Kerry to be a friend on Facebook. <laughs> and the messaging then started, which then led to their first date, which was in January 2013. That was a walk around Strathclyde Park, but Kerry, when they left Fraser's house, conveniently left her scarf there to ensure that they would get another get together. The first date must have went well because they've been together now, going out, or to use a more traditional phrase, courting for eight and a half years. It was last June, the 7th of June 2020, at Shatlerow, that Fraser proposed to Kerry. Fraser and Kerry walked around the whole park at Shatlerow before eating, and Kerry said to me, that was very unusual for Fraser to do that. But it was all part of the plan, and in fact, Robin, Kerry's sister was hiding in the bushes and had set up a blanket and was watching them eagerly and was ready to get the camera for that moment when Fraser would propose to Kerry and of course she said yes and we are here to celebrate that today. Fraser and Kerry are so happy together and it's evident to them and to those who know them that they're finally in the happiest place that they've ever been and ready to move forward in the next stage of their lives together in marriage. Do you promise here, Fraser, that you will love Kerry, that you will be true and loyal, caring for her in sickness and comforting her in sorrow, and that you will keep yourself to her alone for as long as you shall both live? I will. Love is large and incredibly patient. Love is gentle and consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous when blessing comes to someone else. Love does not brag about one's achievements nor inflate its own importance. Love does not traffic in shame and disrespect nor selfishly seek its own honour. Love is not easily irritated or quick to take offence. Love joyfully celebrates honesty and finds no delight in what is wrong. Love is a safe place of shelter for it never stops believing for the best for others. Love never takes failure as defeat, for it never gives up. And when all else fades, three things remain, faith, hope, and love. Yet love surpasses them all. So above all else, let love be the beautiful prize for which you run. Do you promise here, Kerry, that you will love Fraser, that you will be loyal in adversity, caring to him in sickness, comforting him in sorrow, and that you will keep yourself to him alone for so long as you shall both live? I will. In the vows you are about to make, you are committing yourselves exclusively to one another for as long as you shall both live. This love is not to be diminished by difficult circumstances and is only to be dissolved by death. So may God bless you both now and bless the vows that you will make. This is a holy moment. I, Kerry, take you, Fraser, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I, Fraser, take you, Kerry, to be my lawfully wedded wife. My constant friend, my faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow to be your partner in sickness and in health in good times and in bad and in joy as well as sorrow promise to love you unconditionally to honour and respect you to laugh with you and cry with you and to cherish you as long as we both shall live as long as we both shall live I give you this ring as a commitment of my love for you I give you this ring as a commitment of my love for you. 
And as a symbol of our unity. And as a symbol of our unity. Fraser and Kerry, you have made your marriage vows to one another before God and all the friends here today. You've declared your unity to one another by each giving and receiving a ring. And so by the authority that is invested in me, I am very happy to pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, let no one separate them, for God has joined them. Fraser, you may now kiss your bride. Falling in love with your best friend is something that only some people can dream of and I'm so thankful every single day. You're the first thought in the morning and the last one at night and being with you every single day is an adventure. I can't wait for every single day to be exploring the world with you. Thank you for making me the happiest guy in the world.